knowing what you know now after going on that trip, is there anything that can make you, uh, because I know that you still go out and you shoot, mm-hmm. you still um, own guns. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that can make you take a life or are you done? I never want to take a life again. The only thing that I would sacrifice my soul for, if I had to go to that dark place again, the only way I would like, if I don't want to, hell no, I don't want to. But, but if someone tried to harm my family, my, my, my child, my wife, I would do it in a heartbeat without question, without question. But I don't pray for that moment. I don't look for it. I never want it to happen because that means it would affect him in certain in a certain way. But if 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 home was ever brought to him, I would go back to that bottomless pit in a heartbeat. But I'm taking somebody with me, or whatever it was, I'm taking it with me. That's 100. percent I wouldn't. I would. That's the only time I would gladly. Gladly, just not just take life, destroy it. I can't destroy a soul, but I would try to reach for it. Yeah, but that's the only way I can be pushed. You could do whatever you want to me, whatever. Been there. I don't. I don't care. But my child. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. I could destroy a lot. It'd be, I'd make a big mess to get to my son, to protect him. Yeah, I don't think the United, I don't think America at its entirety as a whole, I would unleash a wrath. Yeah, it'd be a, 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 a it'd be a wrath, a, 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 a wrath of, of, of violence and something I think has been stored away in Pandora's box for a very, very long time, very long time. There's a monster in there. We all have it, but that'd be the only way I, I would unleash that. And I wouldn't have no regrets. It'd be the only time I think I know I wouldn't have a regret. I would gladly do it. And whatever was in the way, we get the same fate. Yeah. If it was me and a million men, uh, there'd be a million dead bodies. Yeah, I honestly believe that. And I would gladly do it. I'd wake up the next morning waiting to kill another million to protect my son. Oh yeah. I wouldn't sleep for those days. I would enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, such an interesting conversation with you. Uh, it, it really, it actually, it always is. Um, yeah. I always went to a dark place right there. My bad, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't like thinking about my son being, but yeah. No, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think most parents, anybody who um, has a child with your background or not, not yeah. only would agree with you, but can understand those sentiments. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you, None of us had to, to go through what you went through to understand exactly what it is that you're speaking of. Um, That's the universal love right there. Yes, yes. Universal spirit, yeah. Yeah, especially for your children, um, mm-hmm. you know, right down there in your backyard, and I'll end it here. Um, there's so much mass shootings mm-hmm. going on in this country, man. Um, yeah, they, they, they. I I don't know what the answer is, but I I do believe at the core, you know, there has to be some common sense gun laws put into place. Um, you know. Cleveland, Texas. There's yeah. a guy, I, I believe he's still on the run. Yeah. As of this this taping. And um, you know, he's that's a weird one. That that's a weird one to me. I don't I'm confused as about, you know, as to how he had access to a weapon if he had been. There's just a lot about that I don't understand. And I agree with you. Like, you know, I've been to 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 gun shows and I've been to one. And yeah, I didn't have, you don't have to have a background check in certain instances like that. And I don't think that is necessarily, you know, uh, the right way. A criminal or anybody could walk into some of these places and purchase a firearm. I think that should be definitely taken care of. But 
I yeah, I agree. There needs to be common sense uh, uh, gun laws, 100%. Um, just as much as I believe that, I don't know. But I don't know if there's a, a solution for what I think may be the root cause of a lot of it is it, it's people say mental health. I, it's, I believe it's mental health. But by saying that, there's like, well, now what's the solution? How do you take care of take care of a, a, a an entire country's mental mental health? I don't have the answers for it. I have ideas, but I don't know. Something's going on, I think, with people in America. Something's going on and it's pushing people to the point to where they have to do certain things like this, you know, at, perform these uh, acts of violence. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They kind of, that's a, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. I want to yeah. say, you know, it needs more prayer, but that only goes so far. It needs to actually be a change somewhere. I agree with you. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know what the solution is. Mm -mm. But I, but I definitely think the start is is some common sense gun laws, and I don't want to yep. bring my politics into this conversation. But when, you know, I hear stories like that, we are, uh, you know, something like 160 days into the year, and there are 200 mass shootings, and just in that one case, a nine year old boy. I brought it up because yeah, we were talking about you know our children. Um, mm -hmm. In that case, a nine-year-old boy lost his life to a neighbor yeah. carrying an AR-15. AR. Yep. You know, that, and all that, they did were they just asked them to keep it down. That that's 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 crazy to me. That's that that's that's such a terrible. I don't know, man. That's that's damn nine years old execution style. And that's man, I, I couldn't imagine. That's stupid. It's just that's stupid. Yeah. Yeah, stupid, about that. yeah, and and it, and it really is heartbreaking. Um, and we can go on and on and on. I mean, I don't know what the answer is or the solution, but be it as it may, Nick, it's my pleasure as always, man. Um, hey. you know, you you are. I said it at the top of the of of the conversation. You are a fascinating, uh, interesting, and just deep person to speak to um but you're also a pleasure to speak to so so i thank you again and i don't say this i know everybody say oh i thank you for your service but i really do i thank you for your service but more important i thank you for sharing your story because i think that there are people who need to hear it um need to understand including myself need to understand what's really given for our freedoms what you guys sacrifice, both on the battlefield and then when you come home, this battlefield of life, you happen to, to assimilate back into this real world and everything that you were taught and everything you were trained to do will now get you 100 years behind bars. So I, I thank you, bro. Real talk. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Absolutely. Um, you know, do me a favor because we didn't get a chance to plug your book, but again, your new book, um, Reaper, the board is out. Where can people go find it and where can they follow you on social media? Um, you can find the new book on Amazon. Just type in Reaper, the board and social media official Reaper 33. Thanks again, my brother. Continue blessings, peace and love to you and your family. Hey, you too. I appreciate it. Thank you. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.